When you're in the Upside Down, things can get kind of crazy, so you know there were embarrassing moments on the Stranger Things set. Who unintentionally interrupted scenes? Which actor was the best jokester? But before we dive in, you should probably subscribe to our new channel, The Things Animated, to get all the hidden secrets and unique theories behind your favorite animated movies and shows. Number 1. Sometimes you get what's coming to ya. Noah Schnapp didn't know what hit him, but it was a long time coming since… Well, he's the biggest prankster of them all. Schnapp wound up embarrassing plenty of co-stars through practical jokes, so while filming season 4, it was time he got a taste of his own medicine. Let's set the scene. So it was 4am, we were in New Mexico. Schnapp was busy filming while Millie Bobby Brown and the team got to work. We had trash bins filled with water balloons all around, and we turned all the lights off at base camp. Brown lured Noah over with her excellent acting skills. Noah, I'm just so upset that, you know, you're not, you're not here to say goodbye to me. Please just come back to base camp. I'm leaving now. When his best friend needs him, he'll be there. But instead of finding a teary-eyed Millie, he got a whole crew taking revenge on him. And I get him in the middle of the car park. All of us, about 20 people, raid him. This cast does not mess around with their practical jokes. Number two, their lips were sealed. And I'm not gonna name names because it's pretty embarrassing. In the early days, filming on the bus got a bit stuffy and one person was left feeling real embarrassed. Somebody farted on the bus we were filming in and we had to clear out for about 20 minutes. But that's not the worst of it. There wound up being two performers trying to avoid being called out. And then we got back on after like 20 minutes of airing the thing out, and somebody else farted. It was a smelly mystery, that's for sure. And tried to blame it on the initial perpetrator. That said, filming that day happened to be one of Gaten Matarazzo's absolute favorites. We wonder if he's keeping any secrets. We still don't know who that second part was. Hmm. Number three. This one ended in tears. Yikes. Noah Schnapp and Millie Bobby Brown wound up being the ones embarrassed after playing this joke on one of the crew members that went a bit too far. The actors were bored on set one day and decided to give the crew member a ring, pretending to be the manager of the venue where their wedding was meant to take place just two weeks later. They thought it would be funny to tell her that they had to cancel the rezzo because of construction, but they were mortified when that crew member wound up bursting into tears instead. You can bet the two were blushing all day after that joke gone wrong. Number 4. He's coming in. There were like 200 people in the room just staring <laughs> at also him. Finn Wolfhard went ahead and made his very first kiss with Millie Bobby Brown on screen super awkward. I'm coming in. Looking back, Finn isn't so crazy about the scene. It looks like I was eating her. Like, I was like, <gasps> ah! Was he hoping Millie would feel better about the kiss that way? Luckily, that day was probably the worst of it, and it became a less embarrassing process as they went on. I will say this. It's, we've, we've progressed. Number five. The accents can be tricky. Charlie Heaton is always professional, and his American accent is on point. But funnily enough, he has a whole lot of trouble with one name and it's one he really should be able to say. They've dated on and off screen, so the fact that Heaton really struggles to say the name Nancy properly leaves him blushing constantly on set. To make matters worse, he actually had to come in for separate recording sessions to re-record any time he said Nancy so it sounded right in the final edit. Number 6. This is never not awkward, but it's especially bad when it happens to be your first kiss in real life, too. I mean, I guess technically it would be the one that was in Stranger Things. To make it all worse, Caleb McLaughlin and Sadie Sink were not expecting it. There wasn't a word about this happening in the script or talks beforehand, but the day of, the actors were put on the spot and the pressure was on. It's a lot of kids just like, ooh, you're gonna kiss her. Poor Sadie Sink also had to deal with the fact that her mom happened to be there to witness it all. Has there ever been a more embarrassing first kiss scenario? In front of like so many people? Yeah, that was, that was it. Number seven. Clothing in the 80s was different. Finn Wolfhard had a real hard time when he was handed a classic pair of tidy whities a la 80s for him to wear in case his underwear was showing from under his pants on the show. The actor was so embarrassed at the thought, he didn't even give them a chance, insisting to his co-stars, I'm not wearing these. I'm just gonna wear my real things. My real underwear. Number 8. 
you do what you gotta do. That's the motto that Caleb McLaughlin has learned to roll with being part of the Stranger Things cast. He was very excited to film the scene early on that saw him sneaking up on his pal, but then this happens. <sighs> That part wasn't so fun, but he was always a professional about it, despite his feelings. As an actor, you do it, you do it, you do it. You love the art, you do it. And that's why I did it. Number 9. It's a look. Playing a kid in the 80s isn't all it's cracked up to be, especially in the hair department. Season 3 it was this huge wig, and season 4 <laughs> it was these little extensions. And Noah Schnapp never knew what he was going to get from the wig team. What he could guarantee was the fact that he'd be real embarrassed to be wearing those wigs on set no matter what he was given. Number 10. No one wants to call attention to themselves this way. Remember the smelly situation that happened on the bus? Well, it happened again in the series, but instead of distracting everyone with the stench, it was a fully audible situation. Caleb McLaughlin was the guilty one in this case, and it was much harder to get out of since the whole set was pretty quiet and Gabe Matarazzo had been right next to him, meaning he heard everything. Matarazzo struggled to keep his cool, explaining, We were dying, but we couldn't laugh out loud because they were doing a really dramatic scene in there. Talk about awkward timing. Number 11. Caleb McLaughlin is even more talented than we thought. When it comes to multitasking, this actor is king. Always a jokester on set, he decided to see what would happen if, during the middle of a take, he blew his nose while eating an apple at the same time. Don't ask us why he did it. It seems like he was just moved to spice things up. No one understood what he was doing, and he did make a bit of a fool of himself, but it worked out well since on camera, it was pretty hilarious. Number 12. Maintaining composure is tougher than you'd think. It was a, it was for like 12 year olds all together, drinking Coca-Cola and eating old pizza. Yeah, that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. For six hours. Filming playing games together was a pretty childlike vibe, and the team did encourage a chilled environment so they could get the very best out of the kids. But it was still pretty high strung. Who can blame them though? It was the very early days. What better day to have the giggles than your first day at work for the first scene of the first season? Number 13. What's in a name, really? Well, in this one, there's a whole lot. We know him as Caleb McLaughlin, but on set, he's known as Chocolate Daddy. Okay, at least that's what he refers to himself as on set. And while it's cool in the moment, the actor wasn't so crazy about the world knowing after he let the secret slip during an interview. Number 14. To be late is to be fired. Yikes. Millie Bobby Brown has regularly proven she's an absolute professional in the business, but she didn't leave such a great impression when she showed up to the set for filming Stranger Things a full hour late. And since she's one of the stars, it didn't affect just her. The whole production schedule was thrown off. We can't imagine she was too proud of that one. Number 15. You never know which word will throw you off. For David Harbour, it was... It's your grandma. <laughs> The actor, usually oh so calm, cool, and collected, was the embarrassment of the day as he turned out blooper after blooper after blooper, unable to get through the scene without breaking character. With this crew, it was hard not to laugh. Okay, we're in stitches, how about you? Those were some pretty mortifying experiences, but in the end, it seems like they all managed to have a good laugh. Which situation do you think was most embarrassing? 